Well, the city is planning to spend a lot more on the area's parks than the state did, but years of neglect could make for some challenges. We got an up-close look with Honolulu's mayor today about his vision for improving Kaka'ako's public spaces. A massive handover from the state's Hawaii Community Development Authority to the city and county of Honolulu is about to take place, meant to bring Kaka'ako public land back to life. It's a big transfer of land, but it's absolutely the right thing to do. 41 acres of mostly Kaka'ako Makai parks, 17 parcels, including some leased to businesses and nonprofits, even 53 roadways and remnant parcels, including some on the Malka side. We wanted to do this a long time ago. Uh, we've been extending uh, the deadline repeatedly to work on issues involving the transfer, and we're ready to have the transfer occur at the end of last month. But when we did a walkthrough a couple days before, we found that you know, the condition of the park for when we last we did a walkthrough had declined dramatically. Always investigating, walk the park with the mayor to see what's on the city's punch list. Things the HCDA is ready to spend $800,000 to clear up, and the city has already started hiring 19 groundskeepers to take over. Once you get title to these lands, what are the first uh, one, two, or three things that the public will see different in the park? It's all about maintenance and operation. The first thing we're going to do is bring the bathrooms back up to standards. Number two, just making sure the grass is irrigated and it's green all the time. And the third one is, you know, addressing the, the trimming of trees and that kind of thing and the spalding of concrete that we see around. Park visitors suggest a similar to-do list. It's too overwhelming, like our side, the west side, our bathrooms are clean, you know, our parks are clean, you know, but to come to town and to see it like that, that's terrible. I guess, too, is it's the homeless. The homeless presence has come and gone and come again in different areas, lately along the sidewalks and fences. The mayor says patrols hired for Ala Moana Park would be extended into Kaka'ako when the city takes over. Will a greater presence of the patrol or any city resources here make a difference in the last lingering areas of homeless population that's out here? I think it'll make a difference to some degree, but as you know, we play this game, we move them and they move somewhere else. Cannot have that happen again, so we're going to be vigilant. Vigilance and maintenance at a cost. What are taxpayers looking at to maintain this? So we're, we're looking at adding positions and, of course, funding for this, taking over this park. HCDA spent about a million dollars a year in its park budget. The city has allotted double that for Kaka'ako, plus another million or so in startup equipment. HCDA says the agency feels somewhat sad or sentimental to see it go, but... It allows us to refocus, you know, our staffing resources. I just got the stadium district, so that's kind of a, that's 98, 98 acres and a new stadium that's got to be built. So, I mean, it, there's uh, additional capacity that we're, that we're looking to gain from this. As for the city, they're taking on space that's about a third the size of Ala Moana Park, bordering a towering span of urban development. When you think about, we have Ala Moana Beach Park, 119 acres. We're putting a lot of effort in that park. And really to have a park that's just contiguous that comes all the way down to the entrance to Honolulu Harbor, one lay of green on a beautiful ocean, is it would be perfect. People would be able to walk from one side to the other and have it seamless. That's our dream. Now the mayor expects the park transfer to be complete in the next month or two. The Honolulu City Council's Park Committee Chair says she's putting the topic on this month's committee agenda to get an update on the handoff and the hiring status. Back to you.